Hello everybody, we've got a new update from the old school RuneScape team, this is Membership Bonds and Easter. So let's have a look at this update. Membership Bonds are now here. Those green dragons you're killing, or those nature runes you've been crafting, can now fund your membership. If you've been stocking up on coins, your day has arrived. Alongside Membership Bonds, they've got a brand new holiday event for Easter. Some chocolate creatures have been running riot in the Easter Bunny's Warren, and he's in need of our help. So first off, let's have a look at Membership Bonds. Membership Bonds are in-game items tradable to fellow players and redeemable for membership, unlocking the ability to fund your old school adventures using your in-game wealth. They can be traded directly player to player or through the Grand Exchange for gold. As an added bonus, when you redeem your Membership Bonds, you will gain access to all the premium members only content available in RuneScape alongside your old school membership access. This is because membership covers both games. Want to get your hands on a membership bond? Head to the old school website and follow the link buy a bond in the navigation bar. After purchasing a bond through the website, it will be delivered to your bond pouch in game, which can be accessed through the options tab. Next, Easter 2015, chock and load. Once again, the Easter Bunny is in a bind, and is unable to deliver his chocolate eggs to the children of Gelinor. It's not his fault though, at least if it is his fault, he's not admitting it. This year, something very odd has happened to his chocolate eggs. They've been hatching, and the chocolate critters inside might be sweet to taste, but their personalities are distinctly sour. And now they're rampaging all over the Easter Bunny's warren. The bunny, showing his traditional level of initiative, has gone into a state of panic, and barricaded himself into his office, where he's waiting for a kind adventurer to come and rescue him. Head yourself of Falador to find the entrance of the Easter Bunny's warren and help him out. And finally, in other news, Google Chrome will soon no longer support Java. As such, it will be no longer possible to play RuneScape through it. To ensure seamless play, they recommend that Chrome users download the old school RuneScape game client now, which you can get by clicking the old school client link on the old school RuneScape website. I think this has been an interesting update today. I'm really not a fan of bonds. I really hate the fact that people can now buy their in-game wealth with their real-world wealth. Of course, being able to buy your membership with in-game wealth is nice, but allowing that means real-world trading is now allowed. Of course, it will probably reduce real-world traders and botters, because there'll be an official method to buy in-game wealth. But it's still a pain that they sort of have to use the, if you can't beat them, join them strategy. Also, Easter 2015 sounds like a great update. I can't wait to play it. I'll be recording the event and putting it on YouTube, so click here for my video on that. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or in my comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with the old school RuneScape updates, dev blogs, and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.